These are the vocabulary words from Contemporary Topics 1, Chapter 7. I'm going to go over the words, give you the parts of speech, and then I'm going to use them in sentences for you. Um, the first word is engaging. It's an adjective. It means interesting. So if we're talking about something that's engaging, it's something that you're really interested in, you really like, you really want to do. So for example, the movie was engaging. The book was engaging. Class is engaging. So you're really involved. Um, a person could be engaging, and that means you like talking to that person. But by themselves, I wouldn't necessarily say she's engaging. Um, I would mostly describe things, books, movies, blah, 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 as engaging. The next word is depressed. It's also an adjective. It means sad. Um, usually we only talk about people as being depressed. She is very depressed. She hasn't smiled in days. I don't see her very happy. So it talks about your overall personality just being sad and normally for more than a couple hours. Okay, potential is an adjective as well. It means possible. So I have, there's three potential dates for the party. He has the potential of going into law because he scored really well on his test. Um, potentially, you can make it an adjective. I'm going to go to Mexico after class ends. All right. The next word is three-dimensional. It is an adjective and it means having or seeming to have length, width, or depth. It just means that things have more than um, one way. So like a paper is two-dimensional. It doesn't have any depth. But if you look at a, a desk or a table, a chair, your book, it all has length, width, and depth all together. All right. The next word is violent. It's an adjective. It means using force to hurt or kill somebody. It's a very strong word. You can describe people as violent, meaning that they want to hurt or kill somebody. Um, books and movies can also be violent. Um, in this chapter, it's talking about video games. So video games can be violent. They show different, uh, they show that they want to hurt somebody. The noun of this is violence, V-I-O-L-E-N-C-E. So you could say the book had a lot of violence or the book was violent. Okay, the next word is fantasy. It's a noun or an adjective depending on how it's used. Something produced by the imagination. So you could say the movie was fantasy, the book was fantasy, the video game was fantasy. So if you think about Harry Potter, that genre is fantasy. All right. Um, not just I created something, I created an art project, it was fantasy. You don't use it in that sense. You usually use it um, with types of movies that mine have um, ghosts or traveling into the future or something like that that's related to imaginary. Okay, involved. This is a verb. It means actively participating in something. So, for example, I was very involved in the project, meaning I really liked the project. I was doing it. I really focused on the project or he was involved in creating the new website. So he was actively joining in creating the website. Okay, the next word is interferes. It means, it's a verb, it means to stop or slow something. So for example, if you are trying to cook and your kid is saying mommy, 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 or daddy, 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 and they're not letting you cook, they would be interfering with you. All right, if you're trying to work and your friend is bothering you, they are interfering. So they interfere with you. All right. 
The next word is cognitive. It's an adjective. It means connected to thinking. So you would say like cognitive delay, connected with your brain. So a cognitive delay means delay in thinking. Um, you could say, as the book do, does, cognitive ability. So it's your ability to think. So it's not used that often in normal speech. It's mostly used with like medical stuff. Um, so that's how we would typically use it. Concern is worry. So it's a noun. So his concern was that he would not pass the class. He had a concern about his child staying out that late at night. Now, if you wanted to say concerned with an ED, that would be an adjective, actually. I was concerned that I wouldn't do well on the exam. I was concerned about my tire because it was a little bit low. All right. The next word is aggressive. It's an adjective. It means ready to fight or argue. Now, when we talked about violent, that's a strong word because it's talking about hurt or kill. Aggressive is a little bit less. So ready to fight or argue, you could talk about a person being aggressive, meaning probably if you made them mad, they're going to be ready to come back and fight or argue or get mad at you. Um, so they have a quick temper. All right, so it's not as, as high as violent. Um, I would not describe a book as aggressive. Um, in the book, it talks about um, games leading to aggressive behavior. So behavior, because it's connected to a person, can be aggressive. All right. The last word is addiction. It's a noun, a strong and harmful need to have or do something. So he has an addiction to drugs, alcohol, whatever you want to say. The other way to say it is he is addicted, that's an adjective, to drugs, alcohol, blah, blah, blah. All right, these are the 12 words in the chapter on pages 63 and 64. Thanks for listening.